So this one is a cleanup of some kind because we tried to add our change our profile image, but uh, we didn't see it as a post here. So let me click a profile here and try to add a profile image. Let me replace the same image and click change. And as you can see, we see no new posts here. Now let's see what seems to be the problem. Now, if I go to the post.php, the class itself, class post, we see, I guess you might have seen it already. Here we are checking for if the post is empty, if this particular, there's no text or there's no file name to upload. So in the case where we are doing a profile image, both of these will equate to false. So this is why it's not even bothering to get into this. So the only thing we have to do is we have to include if these two are set as well up here. So let me just put two pipes for or. If you don't know where pipes are, you can simply type or it will still work. So let me put the pipes there, double pipes. So we are saying or this is set or that is set. It's going to pass through here. This by itself should solve our problem. So let me go back here and uh, click change profile image and browse. Select that image and change. Let's see. Oh, very good. So now we have our profile image there and let me change the cover as well. Let's see if we uh, get something as good as well and change. Alrighty, so we get our cover image and profile image right there. So things are looking uh, very good. However, it's supposed to say so and so changed his or her profile image or cover image. So let's do that real quick. To do that, we have to go to the post.php uh, file. This is the one that has a single post in it. So not in classes, but in here, just post.php. All right. So we have to ask it to check if this is why we set these. Uh, so if we go to our, our database and browse the posts uh, table, we're going to see that here on has image, it's active, and then is profile image is active here and is cover image is active there. So these are the cues that we are looking for. So this will make things very simple. So we want to write just after the name, which is right here, first name and last name. We want to write inside this particular section. We want to add something in that same row. So we'll put it inside the same div and let's just add a span so we can style it as we wish. So I'm going to echo. First of all, uh, since all this seems to be part of PHP, so what I can do is just drop this down here and then bring this down here as well. Something like that. And then this will be echoed since it's now part of PHP. All right. So inside here, what we want to put is, uh, let's ask the question. We only echo this if uh, it's a profile or it's a, um, if we say if row, now we're not getting from row user, we're just getting from the row of the post. If we say row is profile image so if it's a one this is enough we don't need to say is equal to one just by saying if this that's enough because true is one so let's go up here so if this is true then echo this and we're going to echo updated profile image so we can say his or there just to be plural but uh, if you like the his or her what we can do is we can rather check here uh, 
let's create a, a variable called pronoun we'll set it to uh, his to start with and then we're going to check if row since we have the row user gender if the gender is equal to I think it's capital F female something like that okay uh, then the pronoun will change to her and so we can just get the pronoun and put it here so you say uh, so and so updated so let me leave a space here updated her or his profile image so let's see if that actually works somehow let's uh, refresh the page so you see there updated his profile image worked like a charm now instead of it looking like that I don't want it to be part of uh, because the name is here I want it to have different uh, settings because here we have font weight bold etc etc so what I will do instead I'm going to say uh, style here I'm going to say font weight normal and then I'm going to say color I want it uh, in a gray of sorts a a a uh, that should do it let me refresh again and there we go updated his profile image uh, looks uh, really cool so we can do the same for the cover image as well so now it's going to be easy because all we need to do is just replicate this duplicate this up to them and so shift control shift delete uh, d or you can simply copy and paste so here we just change to a cover image and uh, same here we change to cover and that's it so let me refresh and updated his cover image updated his profile image and we are good to go now there's something that has sneaked in throughout these two uh, tutorials that i forgot the top here we don't have the uh, thumbnail version so let me just change that real quick let me just search for get thumb so i can copy it and say uh, get thumbnail instead of using the cover image let me use uh, the profile image great so now I can go to the where is that uh, the image at the corner cover area include header.php so it's actually inside header.php so let me go down here and get header.php and bring it out here we need you so this is the corner image right here so instead of all this what we could do is say corner image copy that paste it there we'll say image class because we know the image class uh, is active here get thumbnail uh, and then we're using user data profile image okay everything else is the same now if you're unsure that the image class will be active here you can simply create a new one it doesn't matter it's all good not really a problem we can just say uh, image class is equal to new image you can do it as many times as you want it really doesn't uh, matter just in case it's not active on certain pages all right so let me refresh now and we'll get uh, that nice thing there updated and then cover image profile image so before I go any further let me just add one more thing to the uh, profile here which is edit and delete so I'll close the header it's in post.php not the class one um, this one where we are displaying the actual post 
and I can go after the date right here. I can simply have another span here. Let me uh, duplicate this and tell this to float to the right. And then I'm going to say edit dot delete. So this is just uh, we can edit and delete our posts. So there it is, edit, delete, edit, delete. But I don't see it on these ones. Oh, there it is, edit, delete. Uh, it's too close to these guys. And why is that? I'm not really sure what's going on here. So maybe if uh, we put a break, I want them to float all the way to the other side, but uh, they're not doing that. So maybe what's happening is that uh, the box here is not uh, going all the way up to the other side when there is no image. So that's a possibility right there. Uh, so the div here, I can add a style here and say with 100%. So let me see if that's the issue. Well, it doesn't seem to be, but uh, we'll figure it out. At least we have the edit and uh, delete buttons now. Or maybe it's this div right here. So let me try style with 100%. This is the trial and error stage, and it seems that was the one. Okay, so we have edit and delete right here, and so on. So in the next uh, following uh, episodes, we're going to see how to restrict access, because this profile right now, uh, anyone can click edit, delete, or change profile, whether they own the profile or not. So we're going to set uh, those limits. I'll see you in the next video.